Every week we hype up these big games, and every week they meet the hype and then some. St. Joe's coming off a tough loss to Bergen Catholic. They'd have their hands full with a tough Don Bosco team. And look who's there, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights head coach, Chris Ash. Plenty of talent that can help his football program. We pick this one up in the opening quarter. Third and long for St. Joe's. Nick Patty scrambles, takes a big hit right there from Arsheen Giles. Good job by the Don Bosco defense. St. Joe's forced to punt. In trouble on that punt, it goes back through the end zone for a safety. Don Bosco Prep has a 2-0 lead in the first. Later in the first quarter, St. Joe's with the ball again. Patty brought down. This is Marcellus Erlington with the quarterback sack. Don Bosco takes over on O. And we see Jaquil bats with the screen pass to Jalen Berger. This sophomore is going to be one player to watch over the next three years. He weaves through defenders. 59 yards for Jalen Berger. The Ironmen have a 9-0 lead. St. Joe's will answer back. Nick Patty scrambles. This is a 26-yard gain for Patty. He's ruled down at the two-yard line. No touchdown, but no worries. Because on the next play, Isaiah Hopkinson cashes in from two yards out. He's in the zone. We've got a 9-7 game. Don Bosco with a two-point advantage. St. Joe's driving again before the half. Patty. Under pressure, brought down by a host of Ironmen. And so now it's St. Joe's looking to take the lead going into the half. Angelo Guglielmo from 35 yards, no good at the half. Don Bosco with a 9-7 lead. Second half action now. Third and five, the two future Pitt Panthers. Nick Patty to Matt Alimo, 12 yards, move the chains, it's a first down. But this drive would stall thanks to Marcellus Erlington. Watch him rip down Yasir Berry for a loss. Erlington is elite. Whew. That is some defensive player right there. St. Joe settles for the field goal. Guglielmo from 32 yards, put it on the board. 17 play drive over eight minutes. The Green Knights have a 10-9 lead. St. Joe's defense gets a stop. They force the Ironman to punt. But look at this coverage by Don Bosco. Joseph Destro with a tackle on Gavin Sharkey. And Destro was just getting started. We're in the fourth quarter now. It's Patty under pressure. And Destro comes up with the INT. Don Bosco gets great field position down by one. Now the Ironman offense goes to work. Bats to Jalen Berger. Go and get it. Look at that big time grab by Berger down at the 10 yard line. Now Don Bosco would get backed up to the 20 after a penalty, but Berger would not be denied. The patience and vision here is marvelous. Berger from 20 yards out. Don Bosco with a 15-10 lead. We've got 7-17 to go in the fourth quarter. So St. Joe's with the ball down by five. Patty rolls right. He's picked off. That's Jason Haber with the diving INT. Second interception of the fourth quarter for Patty. We've got under four minutes to go. Bosco goes back to Berger and Jalen Berger with a huge first down run right here. And now the St. Joe's defense with the game on the line has to come up big. Third and 11. Berger is brought down by Jaden Butka. So Bosco's going to punt it away. Under two minutes to go. 15 10 Ironman. And now Nick Patty goes to work. He steps out of the pocket, fires to Matt Alimo. Clutch. 30 yard gain. And the Green Knights begin to matriculate down the field. And then it's Patty to Farad McCombs over the middle. Down at the 32-yard line, the clock is ticking. We're now under a minute to go. So with the game on the line, Nick Patty rolls left. And the sidearm throw to Matt Alimo, 15 yards. 27 seconds to go. 
It's 16-15 St. Joe's. Patty went six and nine for 80 yards on that drive, and this sidearm throw is big time. Ooh, that was some play right there. One of the biggest plays of the entire season. Student section's going nuts, and they should. That is clutch, but there's still some time left on the clock for Bosco. St. Joe's defense forces the fumble. The Green Knights recover. And it's St. Joe's Montvale with a 16 to 15 final. And you see what it means to this football program. What a fantastic ball game played by both teams. Those highlights were an absolute treat. Nick Patty to Matt Alimo, both committed to the University of Pittsburgh with under a minute to go. That's the difference in the ball game. But what can you say about Nick Patty? Here's a guy who throws two interceptions in the fourth quarter, and what the great quarterbacks do, they have that short-term memory. He had one last shot, and he made the most of it. That game-winning drive right there shows why Nick Patty is a major D1 quarterback and the Pitt Panthers are getting one special playmaker. After the game, our Alex Lorenzo was able to catch up with the dynamic duo, Patty and Alimo, that gave St. Joe's an incredible win. Thanks a lot, Rich. We saw two fourth quarter interceptions from Nick Patty, but the senior quarterback never wavered, responding with an incredible game-winning touchdown drive in the final minute. And after the game, I caught up with Patty and fellow Pittsburgh commit Matt Alimo. You know, whenever you're under two minutes, uh, you got you got to keep composed with all your guys, and and uh, as the quarterback, you got to keep everyone in check, know, uh, have them all know what they're doing, and uh, and we did a great job of that. You just got to be confident, and uh, and though you've been in a situation like this before, uh, we practice two minute drill every day in practice, so that was something we we've, we've done before, and uh, and we practice day in and day out, and and it was just somewhat routine for us. It, it's huge. I mean, our, our mentality is that we don't lose the two teams. Uh, we don't lose two games in a row. We did everything to follow through with that and, and keep the St. Joe's tradition going. And it was just huge to beat, beat the guys from Ramsey. Um, you know, anytime you beat them, that's a huge win. Just get the ball, uh, try and try and catch the ball, get the next play going without wasting too much time. Big win. We, uh, we knew we needed to get this one for Coach Hoffman, but it's just so satisfying to beat uh, one of our biggest rivals. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Alex Lorenzo.